Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of solving data problems. This is standard 4.9b in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 31 of the 2018 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have a stem and leaf plot here. It shows the number of tickets that Stephen won when he played games at a carnival. Always we start down here with our key. So a 9 slash 6 means 96, which means our stem is going to be our tens place. Our leaf is going to be our ones place. And so we need the total number of tickets, which means we need to go ahead and figure out what each one of these numbers represents. So let's start with our first stem here. Once we kind of figure this out, this will be kind of easy. So we always start with our stem and we put it together with a leaf. So one stem goes with a leaf. So the eight goes with that first leaf of four. So I'm gonna get 84. Now, it's not 848. Each of these leaves actually goes separately with the stem. So when we're trying to figure out what that eight represents, we actually have to go back to the stem of eight, and then we pick up the leaf of eight. So this row right here actually represents two quantities because there's two leaves, 84 and 88. So this second row here has three leaves, which means we're actually gonna have three numbers or three quantities. So we're gonna have 90 because we've got a stem of nine, a leaf of zero, we still go back to that same stem of nine to pick up our second leaf of six. And then we go back to that same stem of nine to pick up our leaf of eight. So this next stem looks a little bit weird because it's got two digits, but that's fine. We're just gonna make this a 10. So it's actually gonna end up being like a hundred and then a leaf of five, so 105. So our stem can be a two digit, that's fine. And we actually have two 105s. You notice we're going to just put them separately there. And then finally, we've got our last one of 117 because we put an 11 with a 7. So that's what we have. Those are all of our different quantities all kind of listed out there. And so we need to find the total number of tickets that Stephen won. So that's a lot of addition. And what we can probably do here is, you know what, we've already got these kind of separated into three separate rows. I wrote them neatly. Instead of lining them up into one huge, gigantic uh, set, of, set of numbers to add, which is going to increase my, my chances of making a mistake, let me go ahead and, you know what, I'm going to take this 98. I'm just going to move that right down there. I'm going to do some partial sums. So I'm going to add up each column then add up the two sums and we should be good. A little bit easier for us. So I've got a four and a five make nine and a seven makes 16. So I can always look for tens. Nine and one make 10. Now I've got 19. So there we go, I've got 396. And so it looks like my other one's gonna be about that same size. So if I estimate that's 400 and 400, 800. I'm guessing A is the closest, but you know, obviously we're going to figure it out completely. Let's see, I've got my 8 and 6 is 14, and that 5 is 19, and then 8 is going to be 27. That's a, that's a lot of adding there. 8 and 2, that's going to make 10. Always look for 10 if you can. 9 and 9 make 18, so 18 and my 10 make 28. And there we go, I've got one, two, three. All right, so I was right. That's a little bit less than 400, but that's fine. So now I've got my 387, 396, add them up. That's going to be 13. Always make a 10 if you can. Nine and one make 10, that's 18. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We made it 700. 83. So that is the total number of tickets by adding everything on this stem and leaf plot. Our answer is A.